Hi everybody, this is Audrey, also known as Noble Strength, and welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well wherever you are in the world. And today I want to talk about coach, and I also want to share just a little mini thrift haul, nothing big. I didn't get a lot of things this time around. So if you're into fashion and talking about fashion, then stick around. I think you'll enjoy this video. So let's start with Coach first. You know, Coach is always releasing, you know, really cool designs on bags that feature the artwork of prominent artists. And this time they've released uh, a group of bags and different like uh, clothing items and accessories that have the artwork of Tom Wesselman. And Tom Wesselman was a big part of the pop art movement, which began in the 50s in the UK and in the United States. And it really mainly was about pop culture and things that were popular at that time and commercialism and that type of thing. And Tom Wesselman, he's mostly known for his gigantic still lifes and his nudes. Um, but Coach has featured some of his still life items and some other type items. And I guess if you had to define his style of work, it would be maybe abstract expressionism, but within the pop culture movement, within the pop art movement, I should say. But really, really nice work. And I'm showing you some pictures of Tom Wesselman on the screen next to me. And right now, I just wanted to show you a brief clip of his studio um, that was featured. And this is a clip from 1998. And this is the director of art for the uh, Tom Wesselman estate talking in this clip. <laughs> We're here in Tom Musselman's last studio. He started working here in the mid-90s, here in Cooper Square, not far from where Tom went to school at the Cooper Union. This drawing right here, I made a little copy of, and this is what I'm gonna be basing my still life on today. In the studio we have still life number 35, which is uh, one of the early large-scale collage works that Tom did in the early 60s. What he wanted to do was make painting on the same scale as billboard images. We wrote to companies to get these billboards to use that as a material. So you can see the still life that he did was really large scale and he did collages, he did paintings, and he also did sculpture pieces as well. Now Coach is featuring like the lips and the lips with the cigarette, perfume bottles and roses, and um, let's see some other types of still life that he's known for. And I really like the pieces, but the one that stood out most to me was the rogue top handle with the roses and the perfume bottle. I absolutely love that. Now, I was told about this collection coming out beforehand by my essay, Alex, and he works at the boutique, the Coach Boutique in Atlanta. So if you're ever in Atlanta, stop by the Coach Boutique and ask for Alex and let him know that Audrey sent you. He's really fabulous. And every time there's a release that have artists involved, he always lets me know because that he knows that's what I'm more into than anything. So um, there was an early release for customers on the website and most of the things have sold out already. Um, I did not jump on making a purchase right away because they are, you know, on the higher end scale price wise, ranging like starting at $895. And right now at this moment, I just don't have those funds to um, be splurging, but they're really, really nice pieces. And I just wanted to share them with you all so you can possibly, you know, jump on this and get you a collector's piece really really nice pieces all right so that's what i have to say about the tom wesselman collection like i say coach always done these collabs they've done it with jean michel basquiat and there's a great if you don't know who jean michel basquiat is he was a popular uh graffiti artist or street artist back in the 80s and he did some collabs with prominent artists like andy warhol but his two sisters did an exhibition 
featuring some of the works of his brother and never before seen photos. And so I have a brief clip of that that I'm going to put in the description box below, which will let you know a little bit more about Jean-Michel Basquiat. Really, really great artist, which Coach has featured before. They've also done Keith Haring, who is also a street artist. Um, who else have they featured? Um, in their work. Uh, K Facet, I should say, I have one of those bags. So that's why I love coats. All right, so as far as thrifting items that I picked up, I only picked up three things. So one of the first items that I got were a pair of red ballet flats, which I'll show you in the cutaway. So these are some ballet flats. These are called uh, Dalton. And this brand you can get at Dillard's. Really, really comfortable. They're a mid range brand when they. When they're brand new and they're not having sales, they're like maybe $70, $80, but when they're on sale, you can get them for like, you know, $30 or so, but really nice shoe and uh, just cute. And you know, I love red and I love these ballet flats. They have a leather sock, which is the interior. They also have a leather outer um, portion of the shoe, which is suede, and then the bottom is rubber. Really, really nice. Uh, these have very minimal wear and I picked these up for six dollars at the Goodwill. Really, really nice. So I am also wearing another thrifted item. This is an Old Navy cute little summer dress that I absolutely love. It is lined, which I like. I love when a dress is lined. Only thing it doesn't have pockets, as I'm showing you on the screen. I could wear this a lot of different ways. I could wear it loosely with just some nude color sandals and matching bag just for a really kind of summery light, you know, look. Or I could cinch it with a belt, a red belt, <laughs> and I could wear these red ballet flats that I just showed you and have a look as well. So those are the shoes and clothing items that I got. I did pick up one bag and this is gonna take you back. Are you ready? Okay. All right, so this is a bag that I picked up. I paid $3 for this bag, and I love it because it gives me disco vibes. It gives me 70s, early 80s vibe, you know, late 70s, early 80s vibe. Just absolutely love the uh, metallic detailing of the silver, black, and gold together. Just looks really nice. And I examined this really, really closely, and all of the plates are there on the bag that connect. None of them are missing, and I just think that is so cute. It's a snap closure clutch. It has this detachable strap, so you can wear it as a clutch, or you can you know, wear it as a shoulder bag. It has the gussets on the side, so it opens pretty wide. As you can see, it has two zip comparts, compartments. It has a slip compartment here, middle compartment. So you could fit all of your little necessities, and this would be a good you know, date night bag night on the town bag and i just think it's absolutely adorable and you know i love nostalgic vintage things i completely forgot about this talbot's black skirt that i also thrifted for five dollars at goodwill i love the length of this skirt it is a light wool skirt it does have a lining so this skirt can be worn year round and i will wear this a million different ways it's just a classic skirt that you can wear in the fall, winter, spring, and summer. So that is it. That is all that I picked up thrifting and that is all I had to discuss about Coach. Just wanted to let you know about the Tom Wesselman collection that, you know, Coach has released and go ahead and check them out on their website. There's a lot to choose from as you can see on the split screen really really cute items and as always remember to be a good steward of all that god has given you because he loves us so much and i love you too and i'll see you real soon bye